The key findings is that child labor is actually quite prominent within herding. And until now, we've known that agriculture was an important employer of children. Something like 60% of all child laborers are found in agriculture. What we hadn't realized was how important herding is as an employer for children. There are risks associated with the transmission of disease, of animal diseases to children, either through the proximity to animals or to animal products like milk. There are risks of injury from stampe but being trampled or from puncture wounds. There's risks of being exposed to extreme temperatures because of the long periods that children are hurting. There are also psychological risks because of the amount of responsibility that children feel towards looking after animals which are considered very valuable assets for poor families and the risks of becoming indebted if those animals are not well taken care of. The main thing is that these activities should not interfere with the child's schooling, it should not interfere with the child's mental well-being. It should not interfere with the child's health or physical well-being. And as I've said, there are risks associated with herding that make it very difficult for children to uh, maintain healthy lives, but also to be able to go to school. If you're a herder and you spend long periods of time out with the animals, it is difficult to ensure that you get the kind of education that you need. When those children grow up, they tend to have children who are child laborers. It begins a cycle of poverty. Children who work and don't go to school and who are not able to, who suffer injuries as children also associated with work, tend not to get good employment when they are older. If they don't have good employment when they're older, they tend to be exploited again in the workforce and their families are poor. So it becomes this vicious cycle. Steps are required at multiple levels, from the policy level where we need to create an enabling environment with private sector and businesses who buy products that should not be coming from child labor, to educational innovations that could be used to help ensure that the quality of schools available to people and the way in, ways in which pastoral livelihoods are covered are appropriate so that children will go to school from pastoral families. And mostly, if we look at the community level, there are a set of actions that really need to be taken. Um, among them is the raising awareness among communities to understand what the risks are of sending children to work in herding as opposed to in school, and the long-term costs of child labor for their livelihoods, uh, helping to provide alternatives to families who are dependent on their children's work for their livelihood so that they can have access to labor-saving technologies or other kinds of institutional arrangements where they're no longer forced to send their children but could pool livestock, for example, from multiple families and have it managed by someone else, by an adult who might be paid. These are some of the measures that can be done to help replace child labor at the child laborers at the community level.